To begin this video, let me ask you this. How do you read these numbers? What about these numbers? Welcome back to English for Business and Economics. If you're new here, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to write and read fractions, decimals, and percentages in English. Let's start with fractions. Fractions represent equal parts of a whole or a collection. In a fraction, you will find the numerator, which is on the top of the fraction, the dividing line, and the denominator, which is on the bottom of the fraction. The numerator is read as a cardinal number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Meanwhile, the denominator is read as an ordinal number, for example, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and so on. So in this example, we have 1 4th, 1 8th, 1 16th, etc. There are at least four types of fractions, which we will cover in this video. The first one is unit fractions. When the numerator is 1, read the denominator in a singular form. For example, 1 half or a half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, and so on. The second type of fraction belongs to the proper fractions. When in a fraction the numerator is greater than 1, then read the denominator in plural form. For example, two-thirds, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fifths, two-sixths, and so on. The third type of fraction is called improper fractions. This is when the numerator is more than or equal to the denominator. For example, 4 thirds, 5 fourths, 7 fifths, and so on. And the fourth type is called the mixed fractions. This is when we have a whole number plus a unit or proper fraction that follows. For example, 2 and 3 fourths, 4 and a half, etc. Here's an example in a sentence. Around three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Less than one-twentieth of that water is fresh water. Once again, that fraction there is one-twentieth. Let's move on to decimals. Decimals are used to indicate precision quantities that are not complete numbers. As you see here in the example of pi, pi equals 3.1415 and so on. In English, the decimal numbers are separated by a decimal point, never a comma. For example, on calculators, we see that the decimal is represented by the dot or the point, not a comma. However, the world is divided on this. In this map, Countries where the decimal separator is the dot or point is shown in blue, including the United States, England, India, Australia, and so on. Whereas the countries where the decimal separator is a comma is shown in green. For example, much of Europe, including Russia, Indonesia, Brazil, and the rest of South America as well. So when you do come from these countries highlighted in green, you must make a mental note when learning English because the decimal separator is the point or dot in English while the thousands separator is the comma. Here are some examples of decimals. 0 0.2 0 0.24 0 0.124 1.2 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.
12.004. In a decimal, we read each digit as its own. There are no tens or hundreds, just individual units of the digits. Meanwhile, this is how you would read this number in English. 1024. 12,004. Remember that the comma is the thousand separator in English. Here's an example in a sentence. A new study recommends that men consume 3.7 liters of fluid per day, and women consume 2.7 liters of fluid per day. Now let's move on to percentages. A percentage is a number or ratio that represents a fraction of 100 expressed with a percent sign. Percent literally means per 100. Here are some examples. 50% represents 0.5. 24% represents 0.24 in decimals. While 2.4% represents 0.024 in decimal. Here's the example that you saw earlier. Around three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Less than one-twentieth of that water is fresh water. We can express this in percentage like this. Around 75% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Less than 5% of that water is fresh water. Here are some exercises for you guys. First, let's look at the numbers that I showed in the beginning of the video. Here's how you would read these. 1 half. 1 over 2 is read 1 half or a half. Then we have 2 fourths. Or you can also say two quarter. The quarter is special if the denominator is four. Then we also have four thirds. And lastly, two and three fourths. Or alternatively, you can say two and three quarter. Remember that the quarter is only used when the denominator is four. Did you get them right? What about these numbers? Well, the first one here is 1.024, while the second one with the comma is 1024. Notice the difference that point represents decimal and the comma represents thousand. Then we have 24% and 102.4%. Here's another example. If one liter equals 1,000 milliliter, and a recipe calls for half a liter of water, how many milliliter of water is that? Think for a second. Did you get it? That's right, 500 milliliters. How did we get that? It's one half of 1,000, which is 500. Another exercise. How do you express two-fifths in percentage? Well, two-fifths times 100% is 40%. So two-fifths in percentage is 40%. Next example. What is 12.4% expressed in decimal? That's right, 0.124. We get this because it's 12.4 divided by 100 in order to get that decimal, 0 0.124. And the last example, what is 1.024 expressed in percentage? Did you get it? It's 102.4% because it's 1.024 times 100%. Then you get 102.4%.
Alright guys, that's my sharing about fractions, decimals, and percentages. It is my hope that you've learned something from this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Have an inspiring day.